three against the man Salah in the studio, break. Steve Davis. Alex Higgins was 7 0 down and come back and beat Steve Davis 16 15. And you always feel, Stephen, as long as your opponent needs two frames, you're in with a shout. Yeah, absolutely. That'll be Mark Allen's goal for the time being. I'll try and keep Ronnie Sullivan on eight. More often than not, when Ronnie Sullivan's in a match, when he gets to one frame required, he wins the following frame. aggressive shot there to pop the red and just slide off the bunch and finish on the black but because of the angle he hit the red that's the reason it finished up where it is Quite useful to have a touching ball there to be able to play that shot. And he played it well. He's made no mistake that Mark Allen would have been able to have seen that red. It's near the left corner, he would have taken it on. But once again, Mark tapping the table in appreciation of his opponent's shot there. It's been played throughout like that. Terrific sportsmanship by these two great players. Thank you, left one to left middle. I think he survived that little scary shot they had to play. Your heart's always in your mouth when you're playing dead weight down the table. had an awkward frame like this earlier on this afternoon and they looked at each other and had a re-rack. This is a little bit of a stalemate at the moment. Another touching ball would help. It's touching ball. And it's touching again so now Mark Allen can try and find a spot on the ball cushion to make it awkward for Ronnie. Yeah, if it wasn't a touching ball, I think we would have had a re-rack. Just looking at the way the match has gone, that middle part of the match where Mark Allen lost six frames in a row, that's been the damage done today. He was obviously covering this red to the left corner.
fascinating little encounter this to see who's going to make the first mistake. Judged. Could quite easily have sent the bike into the corner pocket there. Another terrific shot. I think the blue, well, maybe it hasn't covered this red. The fact that Ronnie's come around to have a look tells, yeah, you can see there is a gap. But what a shot this would be. Yeah, he has to get plenty top spin on here too. If he's going to play for the black to the right corner. He wants to go off two cushions to land in the black. It's got to be struck really well, this one. easier chance for Mark Allen. That was very, very difficult indeed. But there's a long straight red for Mark Allen and no problem with getting position. Oh, he's missed it. Yeah, surprised he missed that. Wasn't really a lot of pressure on it. You can see he's not left, he's never leaving anything easy. Right, he's having a really close look to see if this red will pass the black. It looks from our view that it does, but the player's eyes view is a bit different. Ronnie won't be taking any liberties, that's for sure. He's got a four frame advantage, but he knows if he can get nine four in front, there'd be very little chance for Mark Allen, so he won't be pushing the boat out here. Mm, that's still, you have to say, pretty cagey to not play that red to the yellow pocket. If he played the cue ball over to that right cushion, he wasn't leaving anything easy. He could have even screwed the cue ball played for the blue to left middle. Strange choice of shot, especially considering he's stuck the red up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe when he turned that red down. One. to the bunch, just missed the pink. Oh, he's not done it. He was absolutely perfect on the brown. Maybe a little bit scared of blocking the black up. He's played a decent Eight. positional shot. Thought he would have possibly been tempted to go through the gap between the pink and that red and into the main part of the bunch. I suppose he's got certainly four loose reds. Now, if that red does go past the black, see Ronnie had a good look at it, he refused it, so we have to think it doesn't. But he'd play for it now, if it did. Fourteen. Has he just gone too far? I think so. Yeah, he just overdone it anywhere in that circle and he was perfect on that red. 
just fraction out. Mark Allen, 14. Not a bad cue ball, but always the risk of sending a red towards the corner pocket from that type of shot. But looking at the angle, if he takes the pot on, he's going into the reds near the pink there. So he's tried to drop it in dead weight to hold for the black. What a shot this could be. One absolutely brilliant shot. The path would have taken that white into the reds to play it dead weight and judge that. It's superb. Yeah, that was quality, wasn't it? And then what a chance. Eight. We know that this is Mark Allen's strength, this sort of situation. Nine. as well. 16. This red will really open things up. 17. It's amazing how close he leaves the cue ball to the object ball every time. Really has that cue ball under tight control. Anxious look, body language says he's not on this red. 32. You have to say he's been very unfortunate. Well, he's playing to swerve around the other red. That's a terrific shot. That's better than it looks. Better thing. <clears throat> Lots of left hand side to create the angle there. Yeah, the good thing is he could play it dead weight. It was automatic on the pink or the black. Didn't have to do anything with the cue ball. Just concentrate on getting that swerve right. So after this red, everything seems to be... Perhaps the red closest to the pink. There's a gap to get through to the left corner, but other than that, everything seems to be covering each other. 40. So I would suggest possibly a cannon. He'd probably play the cannon to the red to the left of the pink as we look. Don't think he'll go into the pink. Perfect. Mm, maybe just needed to be absolutely full ball, just went to the left hand side 45. of it. Yeah, had this cannon have worked out. He would most certainly have won the frame. He's still a favourite with a 59 point advantage, but that could soon change. Oh, that's a bit of a help. And he's got the black into a slightly safer position.
one fabulous pot. And it's a delicate little one to roll up behind here. The last thing you want to do is leave it short. Put yourself right in trouble. So. Ronnie Sullivan won. Better too hard than not hard enough there on that situation. So there's the difference 58. So this is an important juncture in the final here to cushion escape to glance off the reds. Doesn't want to leave a free ball. Foul. And then it's Ronnie O'Sullivan for no okay. free ball, but better to miss it thin with the first attempt. Please. A fraction left. Just wait, just a fraction. Shot to nothing, it's red to the right corner. Ronnie's this red's on to the right corner, but the red is near the black spot because them a bit of a headache. I think he can avoid the cannon on the red if he gets into the cue ball enough. the can on the red. Ronnie Sullivan, what? He's got a path to the red that's to the right of the black and near the cushion. That's the one he'd be hoping to lay on. But he's looked at the possibility of leaving one to the left middle and the one on the black spot if he didn't get it right. So twice across, dead weight onto this. It looks pretty good. What a big shot would be taking one of these, this red to the middle. Or are you looking at the cutback? Right on the black spot. It's obviously not a natural angle to the left middle or he wouldn't be taking this on. Just aiming down on the cue ball. Oh, that's a great pop. One. And there's another one here. But he's 52 behind. So he has to pot the pink, otherwise he'd need a snooker. I'm going to have to raise the, the butt of the cue in the air a bit, get a stun. Automatically should be on the two reds to the right corner, should he get it. But this is a tough shot. 
brilliant. This would be some steel, especially with that red eight and the black cushion. As you mentioned, Stephen, it's all about that red and uh, fourteen. I'm just thinking he may have played to get on the black because if he just rolls the black in to be on that red. He could even possibly nudge the red out when potting this one, but... 15. Well, he said it too hard. It's a delicate little one now to hold for the red. And we've seen a few just drift away from the pocket along here. But that's safely in. This one did two. Just dead weight. Yeah, the fact that this red is jammed to the cushion. It's pretty much unmissable, this one. At that 23. Speed. And the chance is there. And, well, Mark Allen knows that this would be one of the all time great clearances under the circumstances. Yeah, the pink of the first red is just a snooker shot. It's a shot that other snooker pros would appreciate. Here it is, just fantastic technique and cueing. Thirty-two. Thirty-five. Thirty-nine. Forty-four. Well, this has been awesome. Mark Allen knew that this could possibly happen, but has he taken these well? 50. What a clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Mark Allen looked like he was going to close to just three behind. One mistake, and that was a fabulous clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan, and he's just one frame away from a piece of snooker history. 9-4.